Oh, dude. Time for another beer review. Going back to home bargains. And I'm not looking forward to this beer. Um, but I'll get on to that in a minute. So this is X Marks Mojito beer. 5.9% and 330ml bottle. Now, the reason I'm not looking forward to it is I had the cannabis beer that was in this series the other day. And it wasn't as bad as I feared. It wasn't great. The video's up on the channel. You can you can go back to my home bargains playlist. Um, but why I'm a little bit fearful of this one is, is because I was getting hints of mint and I was getting like, hint, like hints of lime. So... That's what I would expect to get in this beer. So I'm expecting to get sugar and, you know, rum maybe, you know, mint. Maybe not so much the rum, but maybe the, the mint and the lime and the sugar. Um, so I really don't know what I'm going to get here because the last one kind of slightly threw me. Um, so, yeah, clear glass again. Um, you know, you know my views on clear glass. So... Right, so we'll get this out in the glass. I think it's stronger, if memory serves, to the uh, the cannabis one. It's more skunky for me. Oh, fuck it out. So, another clear, not as clear as the cannabis one. There is a couple of bubbles going up. Brilliant white head. I, can I? Yeah, I can see my beautiful face in the reflection. Um, so we'll get those. Now, this one does have a massive mint aroma. Um, the cannabis one did have slightly weedy aroma. That is really, really big mint. Spearmint. There is, a, there is a citrus behind it, but it's heavily masked by the mint. Right, I'm diving in. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> yeah. There, there is a slight lime there and there is a massive mint flavour. A lot bigger mint flavour than what was on the um, cannabis one. So the cannabis one is, was herbal, as you would expect, uh, but there was this slight mint flavour. This has got a massive mint flavour. And then it's got this lime citrus behind it. Both flavours feel artificial as, synthetic as. Um, it's slightly sweet. Um, it's not as heavily carbonated as the last one. As I'm a couple of sips in, the lime is starting to come out a little bit more um, behind that mint. But, oh my word. It, it feels like it's just hiding so many sins, these artificial flavours up front. Um, it, was, it was less than a pound, so... I haven't been fleeced, but it ain't great. It's synthetic as, it's fun. It's fun. It's, um, I can't remember, apologies. Um, somebody commented on my last beer that, um, of the cannabis one that it's something fun you could pull out of barbecue. And you're right, this is a, a, a fun beer that you could literally just bring out of barbecue. You could have one. Everyone could have a laugh around the um, fire pit or around the, around the barbecue, but you wouldn't want to drink this all night. It's a one-off beer, um, but it ain't great. I'd prefer the cannabis one over this. Um, I just think it's far too artificial for me, this one. At least the, um, the other one kind of felt like there was some, I mean, what does it say? It just says spiced with a Cuban legend. I mean, the other one's, like at least it said it had cannabis flavouring or something added. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just underwhelmed with it. I knew it wouldn't be great, um, but yeah, you win some, you lose some. So that is mojito beer. Not the best that's in home bargains, but I'll stick it in my home bargains playlist nevertheless. 
Um, it comes from the Netherlands. I think it's a company that make a Ranji Boom make it, but um, I'd probably rather have a Ranji Boom, um, to be honest. So, yeah, not the best. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's my heat all bigger. So, thank you for watching, and on to the next one. Cheers.